Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I'm here and I'm back filming. I've had a lot of stuff that has changed within the last year, hence on why I haven't been around, um, but things are all good and I figured it was the perfect time to get back in the swing of things. Um, but starting off, I'm going to be doing a 30 day review on the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Serum. I had eyelash extensions for about four months and I decided to take them off just because they were bothering me. They were beautiful, they were glamorous, and I loved waking up every single day with a full set of lashes and I always felt like I woke up and I didn't look like an alien. Um, however, they are damaging to your natural lashes and when I did take them off, I lost a ton of my lashes as well as they were short, they were growing in different directions from the glue and the weight. Um, but as you guys will see in a few minutes, I have before and afters of this serum. And I have to say, I'm extremely, extremely happy with this product. Along with the serum, I've also been using their uh, Lash Accelerator Mascara. I would recommend probably purchasing these products through a drugstore um, instead of a big box store like a Walmart or a Target. For the reason being, uh, drugstores typically have the BOGOs or the buy one get one 50% off on cosmetics, especially drugstore products. And if you want to try the duo like I did, um, you will be really happy with your results and you will save some bucks. So I hope that you guys enjoy this review. Let me know if you all have any questions and hopefully I can get back to them. And hopefully this review helps you guys. I wish there was something like that out there when I was looking, but I'm extremely happy that I took the chance and saved myself a few hundred dollars then buying the big name Lash Growth Serum. So enjoy and I will see you guys soon. 30 days and I am so happy to show you guys the results. This stuff has been amazing and I have a ton left. Um, I've been applying it almost every night. There was a few nights that I did miss, um, but I've been just kind of using it religiously and I mean, I hope that anyone else that wants to use this will have the same results. I don't know if it varies just with everyone's different lash growth, but I am so extremely happy with this. Right now, I just have mascara on. I don't have any falsies. So what you see is what you get. Um, along with using the lash serum, I've also been using the mascara that comes with it. Um, it looks like this. I would definitely recommend going to like a CVS or Walgreens, but looking at the ads first and seeing who has like the buy one, get one 50% off or BOGO, um, because both of them carry Rimmel. Walmart does too, but you're better off going to a drugstore because they're going to have a 50% off or a buy, uh, BOGO. So this is me without eyelashes. I do have probably two coats of mascara. Um, my bottom lashes are a lot longer than my top lashes now, which was never really a problem prior. Um, I'll zoom in in a few minutes, but as you guys will be able to see, I'm actually kind of patchy in certain areas. Um, so that's hopefully something that this will fix or just over time. My lash growth will be a lot faster than I anticipate, so we shall see. So this is up close. I hope that you guys can see all this. Um, you will see that there's some patchy pieces, some lashes are longer than others, and I've also come to find out that for having the lashes on for four months, um, with the pressure, certain lashes that have stayed through the whole process, they kind of started going like their own way. Like some lashes are going, you know, <laughs> not normal. They're like going sideways or, you know, they're pointing down more. It just depends on how they were um, while the glue was on there. So if they put the glue on there and the lash was already sideways and then the weight of the lash and the glue was pressing down on it, it's more than likely going to continue like almost growing that way in a sense. This is just with mascara. There are no false lashes here, and no, they're not ridiculously crazy long, but compared to how they were, this is pretty dramatic because I had like no lashes. I hope that y'all are getting the full effect. And I do have eyeliner on, so that's gonna change the outlook a little bit. I probably shouldn't have put liner on. I don't think I put liner on before. But yeah, I mean, they're pretty long compared to how they were. Um, but anyway, I'm so extremely happy with this. Like, I'm, I'm so shocked and I have a ton left. So we'll see where this takes me in the future.